guys. Today we're going to look at the cursive letter D, the capital letter. So get out your packet and let's get started. So this one starts up at the skyline. Let's see, comes down to the grass line. You get to make a loop if you like. It might be a little different on this Wilson cursive one than on the packet, so you might learn more than one way, which is kind of fun, I think. I always liked cursive when I was your age. All right. Here we go. Get those hey, pencils ready. It's a skyline ready. down letter. It starts on the skyline. Point to the skyline. Go on the skyline, then curve down to the grass line. Make a loop on the grass line, round back up to the skyline, and connect it on the skyline. Or you can make a loop there too, is what I was talking about. And I'll show you on the paper. Either way is fine. Try it again in the air. D is a skyline down letter. It starts on the skyline. Point to the skyline. Go on the skyline, then curve down to the grass line. Make a loop on the grass line, round back up to the skyline, and connect it on the skyline. Try it on your leg. D is a skyline down letter. It starts on the skyline. Point to the skyline. Go on the skyline, then curve down to the grass line. Make a loop on the grass line, round back up to the skyline, and connect it on the skyline. Try it on your arm. D is a skyline down letter. It starts on the skyline. Point to the skyline. Go on the skyline, then curve down to the grass line. Make a loop on the grass line, round back up to the skyline, and connect it on the skyline. Okay, so let's see what it looks like in your packet. You'll start with the capital letter D, and then you'll get to practice with the lowercase and making words and sentences as well. So you'll see what I mean here with the loop at the top. I thought that's kind of fun. So you start up at the skyline, you come down to the grass line, make your loop, make a big belly back up to the skyline, and you can make a loop and a tail if you like. So you come down, make your loop, make your big belly, Sometimes people just stop there, or you can make your loop. And here we go, up, bend around. Starting at the skyline, come down, make your loop, big belly, and another loop. Down, up and around, loop and tail. And then we're gonna review our lowercase d, starting at the grass line, come up to the airplane line. It's a two o'clock letter. Then retrace, come back down to the ground lines, to the skyline, retrace, and make your tail. You'll have room to do a couple Ds or a few of them. And then again, we'll start with a capital D and then the lowercase d. Make sure you trace. It really makes a difference. And then we have the word Detroit, as in Detroit, Michigan, a name of a city, it's a proper noun. So we have a capital letter. You're gonna trace over Detroit. Notice that the capital D does not connect because it ends at the top, up at the skyline. So when you write Detroit, you're gonna make your capital D. Then you have to pick up your pencil and come down for the lowercase e which is a loop letter. Your T is your up down letter. And then you have your R, O is your two o'clock, up down for I, up down for T. And don't forget to cross your T's and dot your I's. Then Detroit, then you have the word dandy. You're gonna trace over dandy and then you're going to write the word dandy. Same with dirt, trace over it first to get the feel of it, then you write it. Practice that connecting. You're not picking up your pencil with the lowercase ones. Now we have to pick up our pencil when we write the word daring in our sentence. Daring dogs decide to drive to Dallas. 
So again, trace over this to get the feel, and then you're gonna write the sentence on the two lines below. So we've got D, notice how I pick up my pencil because it doesn't connect to the A. Daring, leave a space, dogs, leave a space, decide to drive to, and then we have another capital with Dallas. So notice I'm gonna go into my D, pick up my pencil, then I start my A on the grass line and go up to the two o'clock letter and continue. Forgot the period. Don't forget your period because it is a sentence. All right. Again, I'd love to see your work. So if you can take a picture from your Chromebook and upload it, 